Hello, how's it going? Welcome, you cutie. Thank you for the subscription. In 13 months, a very long time. I definitely am not still on the starting soon screen because I don't have all the stuff up and running. 
So right now you just get to bask in my voice. Hello and welcome. Um, let me let me move the mic a little closer. I feel like my I'm talking a little quieter today. My voice is a little sore, so you get close, quiet voice today. Okay, come on, there, there, there we go. Hello, welcome. Now I'm actually here. So, I guess... I don't know what I guess. I guess I'm not guessing. Um, but... Hello, welcome. I made a tweet. Like super early this morning, <laughs> um, about doing gun stuff at the beginning of stream. So, as you can probably see in the little screen up there, we got this one, which we've had for a few days, because well, it's new and I like it. Also, got a little something peeking out right there. Actually, I don't know if I've shown this second gun on stream yet. I don't remember. Why am I? Why am I yawning? Stop it. stuff elsewhere <laughs> all right so this is gonna be hard with the mic this close but I also I don't want to talk louder all right look look at that I need a smaller keyboard my keyboard takes up too much space on my desk So here we go. Here's here's what we're dealing with. Um, so basically, I've got I don't know where that part went. Oh well. I've got here my BRN one eighty and my RDB Celtic. And right now I've got this, <laughs> this super janky, just like basically dollar store rifle scope on my RDB. I don't want that there. I also have a red dot on this. I don't like that one there much either. So we're taking them off. And I've got some other stuff to put on, maybe. So, that's, that's, that's what's happened so far. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see if I can get the right tool for this. First try. No, not first try. Come on. Oh, that, well, that one was closer. And apparently I was not even close with my first guess. 
Apparently I'm bad at guessing these star wrench sizes. There we go, that's the right one. Live there for now. Yep, that is nice. Ain't Naked. Naked gun. This gun looks so good. I like the look of this gun so much. I need to shoot it more. That's what that's what I need to do. So this next get the red dot off this. Also star. These have a name that's not a star wrench. But I don't know what it is. The same sign. That's so nice. What? Get off. Oh, that's so close. Come on. There you go. Alright, now that one can live over there for now. All right, so we've got both those off. What I've got, what I got in the mail, I've got, I got a bunch of things actually. But I got a bunch of stuff from Arasaka because I went on to buy one thing and there was other stuff that looked cool. So I've got a bunch of, I got some barricade stops. Their vertical grip and their hand stop. Another barricade stop. Because. Because uh, I went a little overboard. <laughs> Man, I like my guns. Okay. But. But. Bulls. <laughs> you can see my my hand shadows. You can see me talk with my fingers. Do the light, do, do the evil villain fingers. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. But we need. You can see it on the Twitter picture. But, I got an LPVO. Very exciting. Mildly exciting, you know, if, if that's what excites you. <laughs> um, so, got a Swamp Fox one, because they're still fairly new company, so their prices are less. We'll see how the quality is, um, once I actually, like, get out and shoot it. But, I have already opened it up, and looking through it, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Stickers, very nice. I'll add those to my stash of stickers. I don't know what this is. It's microfiber cloth. The throw lever. And the actual scope. What else is in here? Ooh, battery. That's important. What is this? Just the fanciest looking Allen wrench ever? Look at that thing. <laughs> Why is it so fancy? I mean, oh, it's alright. I like fancy. Put the rest of this back in here. I don't need it right now. Oh, is this is this the instruction manual? I'm not gonna read that. Psh. 
<laughs> Who needs those? Alright. Home bag ASMR. Very nice. I wanna look at I wanna look at this fancy whatever this is. Look at look at that. Look at how like unreasonably like detailed this is. For a salad puncher, hello, welcome. With it, there's there's no need for this to be this nice. Like I appreciate it, but like, just a ranch. All right, so I think first I'm gonna put this throw lever on here. I don't know if you're supposed to do that first or last when mounting an optic, but. I'm doing it first because I don't quite know how these work in terms of like installation. <laughs> I know how they work once they're on. Oh, well, that screw came all the way out. All right, so now this, this just, oh, how does this go on here? This has got a, what? Got to go like on here. And so I need I need this somewhere where the lever is not going to get in the way. So if I put it there, then it would definitely be in the way. <laughs> it would go hit the gun. But is this like 180 degree? Just over 180 degrees, I think. I like line that up perfectly pointed left and all the way back. Just low of that. So right there. See how right there works. I think that's like near perfect perpendicular. Just about, at least. Let's put this screw back in. I don't know if I was supposed to take this actually all the way out, but it came all the way out, so. If they didn't want me to do it, then I shouldn't be able to do it. Alright. Get this nice and lined up there. And then just tighten it down. It's, okay, well, apparently I was not very tight. But it is tightening down more than I thought it would. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice throw lever. Very good. Where's the cap? Put the cap back on. All right, so now that's all. That's all installed. What do I do with my bag of little tiny rent? It was there. What is this for? Is it?
Oh. Okay, so, okay. So this is actually more useful. It's these little, these little fins on the side there. I don't know if you can see it, this little fin there. I use that to unscrew these caps here on the side of the turrets. Okay. There we go. That's how you adjust the zero. Or something. Yeah, so... I guess you adjust the zero. You take this off and... Put it back so that the zero is actually on zero. And you go up and down from there. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell that I don't actually use scopes very much? So that's how that works. And I am not going to need that right now. Well, I am going to need to figure out how to put the battery in. Um, I don't know where the battery goes in this. Under one of the, do I need the manual? I'm gonna feel stupid if I need the manual. There's definitely no space for a battery. Where does the battery go? What on earth? Excuse me. This side. Okay. This side over here unscrews. I see. I understand. Okay. All right. So it's it's the one that doesn't have the a little slot in it. That's where the battery goes. Which side, which side goes which way? It must matter. Not labeled. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Kinda tighten this down, and then see if it works. <laughs> That is a stiff turn on that. Oh yeah, that is correct. Perfect. Here, hold on, can, can I? There we go. Look at that. There you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, and this... This brightness adjustment goes all the way around in a circle. Oh, I'm just gonna move my zero all over the place. This goes, it can go straight from zero to 11. It's very nice. My vortex red dot doesn't do that. If you wanna take it from off to 11, you have to go all the way around. <laughs> it doesn't let you just go backwards one.
Alright. Guess now we need the mount. We actually gotta have some way to stick it on the gun. The box is slowly opening itself with gravity. Hang on. Oh, any. Oh, oh. Magic. Okay. Oh, more, more stickers. Smaller though, because it's a smaller thing. And. They can be another one of these. <laughs> How many do they think I need? Is this is this exact? Is it the same size? It is. It looks like it wasn't for a second. You just collect these. Let me get my nice, my nice can to leave around. I could have just gotten regular rings, probably. Especially if I'm going to put it on the RDB. But... Cantilever just looks so much cooler. And let's be honest, like... If it can look cooler... Why wouldn't it? So now I've got all this stuff out. I've got another one of these little wrenches. Why? Why did they give, why did they give me some? I have four. They gave me four wrenches with this. Two of them are identical. As far as I can tell. And the same diameter? Looks like it. Now the question is, which gun do I put this LPVO on? I would usually put on the longer barrel, but this one's an 18.5. This one's like 17.5. So... Only an inch difference. Not that much of a difference. Right? And I gotta actually take these tops off. I can put the optic in it oh no I'll come all the way out stay stay there kind of I don't know if that's gonna work I don't know if it's gonna stay there well This is a very annoying little screwdriver wrench thing to use. It'd probably be better if I had like the muscle memory to use it, but it, it feels so weird to use. Like it looks super cool, super awkward to use. Oh, that one's still attached. Oh, there you go. Ugh. 
I need a screwdriver. Not a, this is this. I need a, a drill. I need a drill with this on it. <laughs> oh no, stop. Go back go back there. Stay where you belong, thank you. I still haven't decided which gun to put this on. I'm kind of... Well, my original plan for the, the BRN was the red dot and magnifier. But charging handle here runs into the magnifier when it's off on the side. I'm wondering if I should do the red dot magnifier on the RDB. The LPVO was originally for that, but then my dot magnifier didn't work on what I was going to have it on. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them now. I also don't know where my magnifier went. I, I took it off and it just vanished. Oh, I know where it is. Hold on. Let me let me let me check real quick. I got it, it's okay. Alright. Man. Apparently it was sitting on some fuzz, which is now stuck to it. Get off. Alright, there we go. just got optics all over my desk Put that one over here now now we can kind of see them all <laughs> all right now that goes in there just like that just perfect I'm not gonna I'm gonna tighten these down not all the way I don't know if I'm gonna have to move it back and forth a little bit one click equals one half MOA that seems pretty generous for both of these guns Changing it a half MOA. I mean, I'll take it. Picatinny. <laughs> the Velcro of firearms. Oh, yeah. Picatinny and M-Lock. All day. Well, I said I wasn't tightening these down all the way, as I am tightening these down all the way. Okay, I'm just trying to tighten a little bit so I can still move it a little bit if I need. You're partial to dovetail mounts. Dovetail mounts are going to be pretty rare on rifles. Unless you... That's the wrong one. Unless you pick a tinny mount, a, <laughs> a dovetail adapter on there. In which case, like... Why? Why? What's the, oh, what's the company that has the the pistol iron sights that go on your AR? I can't remember. 
absolutely wacky looking thing. I have tightened this down. I'm, I'm just mindlessly tightening these screws. I guess guns do have dovetail sights. I guess like AKs kind of have dovetail mounts. Oh, you're just you're just iron sights. What dovetail scopes are there? The bottom rifle is confusing you. It looks like California legal AR. There's no way. There's a buffer tube. Uh, there's actually no buffer tube in this stock. <laughs> I just blow your mind. No way buffer tube, yeah. Uh this is the Brownells AR one eighty, is that what it's called? Basically their reimagined AR eighteen Russian firearms tend to use dovetails. Russian firearms tend to also suck from a, like, mounting perspective. <laughs> I, like, unless you want to mount them, mount things with, like, hose clamps and duct tape. Like, you don't have many mounting options on Russian guns. <laughs> Them's fighting words. I mean, I'm a fan of AKs. I've got one myself, but like, it's, unless I like duct tape a mag light to it, I can't attach anything to it. It, it has no mounting spots other than the like sling swivel mounts and <laughs> dovetail mounts. I'm just gonna stick my, my LPVO in the dovetail mounts. There's probably an adapter out there for it. So now I need to decide which of these guns I want. Magnifier, red dot. Which one I want LPVO. I, where did that screw come from? I thought I put you in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose parts of this before I even get it on. All right. My original plan, you could drop a Krinkov down a well with an optic on a dovetail mount <laughs> and it will still hold zero. I mean, and that is the whole point of an AK to be able to work in real rough conditions because, well, Russia's in rough conditions. <laughs> Just all of it. The whole place is, is rough conditions. LPVO. Did I... I put it back. I put this thing on backwards. Oh my god. <laughs> I spend like half an hour just doing and undoing these screws. Feels like it's sitting a bit forward. Yeah, uh, that's because I was not paying attention. I was just mindlessly spinning screws, which not recommended. Turns out you're supposed to actually think about what you're doing. Now gotta take all these screws off. and put it on the correct way. 
But I, I still know which of these I should put which on. That way. All right. Now, second time's the charm. Other than, <laughs> other than, yeah. Well, I'm 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 pretty uh, brain dead most of the time, but <laughs> I don't, I'm. Doing, I'm doing pretty good today. Been a been a slow day. On Wednesdays is my day off work, so I had a nice day off in the middle of the week. A little weird, but I like it. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't actually get much done today. Slept in. Not upon sleep. <laughs> you're self-employed and your boss works you to the bone? Oh no. I I wish I could be self-employed. I don't I don't I don't know if I could do it, honestly. I would drive myself insane. <laughs> when I'm working for someone else, then I don't have to worry about doing extra. <laughs> you breed exotic aquarium creatures critters so you didn't say fish so I'm gonna what do you what do you breed you breed like blue ring octopus or something Dwarf freshwater shrimp. That is quite the specialization. Um, there's a there's, there's a market for that. <laughs> what do you do with dwarf freshwater shrimp? How how big is a dwarf shrimp? Aren't shrimp already pretty small? easy to keep and they sell like hotcakes about an inch interesting probably the most exciting aquarium thing i ever almost got was i almost got a, a jellyfish tank one time they had like the <laughs> they had like the gamer rgb lights so that you could like swish your jellyfish around and have R rgb jellyfish We'll buy them as ornamental tank cleaners. So like snails and placostomus and stuff. You have eight aquarium eight. Are we are we talking like 10, 20, 50 gallons larger? 200 gallons? I <laughs> I, I don't know how much space it takes to breed shrimp. You have a Glico and a dedicated small tank. I used to have uh, a really nice fish tank with like some cool fish in it. There's a, a, a tiger, tiger Oscar. It might have been some other kind of Oscar. It was some kind of Oscar. A giant Placostomus. The thing was like 16 inches long. And then some other fish that kept dying so they were rotated out quite a bit <laughs> but that was like a giant like 50 gallon tank i think it was it was huge you have a two gallon three and a half gallon four ten gallons 20 gallon and a 65 gallon that is a lot to take care of Although I guess if three are empty, then that's that's not quite as much, <laughs> not quite as much to take care of. All right. Uh, 
I have to decide what gun I want this on. Really, I'm just deciding which gun to put the LPVO on. And then a the red dot's going to go on the other one. All the snails and plants, your water is crystal clear and healthy. R real plants? I was never able to, like, figure out how to keep real plants not eaten by fish. <laughs> you don't even do water changes, you just need to top up. Wow, you got a very balanced ecosystem in there then. Live plants, which you also sell. I, I mean, there's definitely a market for that. <laughs> I bought a whole lot of live plants for a while. Because I buy live plants, stick them in the aquarium, and then like a week later they would be gone. Because they would be eaten by the fish. And I, I don't I don't know why. I fed the fish. I wasn't like starving them. They just I don't know. They just always wanted to eat because they're fish. Those kind of fish, you gotta either get plants that grow faster and they can eat it or are too tough for them to bite. I, I tried the like fast growing plants. Um, I got some like really fast growing plants. Um, those ones did last longer. So like, I put, I put the plants in there. Um, and obviously the fish just go and tear them up. Like then, like little like branches would go float off and start growing more plants elsewhere. Um, until the fish ate those too. <laughs> Your Anubius are fish-proof plants. The leaves are like leather, not even goldfish. I don't know. My my Oscar, that thing was. It was a monster. That looks pretty good on there. Let me just scoot it back a little bit. I need to get the eye relief right, but... Like, the, my, my Oscar fish. That's, that's the one that just destroyed everything I put in there. Um, <laughs> but, like, I would, like, catch like bugs for it to eat and just throw in the tank and this thing was eating like locust like those like giant grasshoppers that are like this big like it was eating them those things are armored basically <laughs> like it was, it was kind of disgusting to watch but like it was impressive the fish you do keep can't even eat java moss. Three platy and a bristle nose. Is is a bristle nose like a catfish? Are they are those similar? I'm not familiar with that one. I. It's a species of Plico. Oh, okay. Plecostomus, they always seem pretty, I don't know, kind of like catfish. <laughs> They're both bottom feeders. Dwarf species only grow to six inches. They are, are oh, Plecostomus are catfish? I thought they were similar. I didn't think they were. Nice. And when, when I bought my giant tank, it came with just like a catfish. <laughs> I, I bought the tank used, like off Craigslist, I think. 
Um, and they just had a catfish in it. And they were like, oh yeah, we, we caught this catfish while we were fishing and we just threw it in our aquarium. I'm like, <laughs> but, but why? <laughs> but they had, they literally caught a catfish while like fishing and then just took it home and put it in, put it in their aquarium. And so I bought the aquarium and ended up with a catfish. It lived for a while. Your 65 gallon came with an old common pleco. It was over a foot long. You took to your local fish store to donate. You can donate fish? I, I didn't even know that was a possibility. What do they do with donated fish? Is it like <laughs> a fish adoption shelter? Do they just like throw it in a tank and like looking for a new loving home? <laughs> what do they do with donated fish? I'm so confused. I gotta look through this. See if see how the eye relief is doing. That's, a, that's almost perfect. I think I nailed that on the first try. Man, it's like I've done this before. Scoot it forward just a touch. Local mom and pop stores are more likely to take unwanted fish. I think they put the Pleco donated in their indoor koi pond. Man. <laughs> you basically sent that fish off to a resort to live forever. On the resort. I feel like that's like the dream for a fish like that. <laughs> to go to a koi pond. Oh, got this backwards. I don't know if my phone flashlight is bright enough to do this. I'm still going to try. It is not. My phone flashlight is not bright enough to do that. Sad day. Your bristlenose is named Gimli after Lord of the Rings character. I love Gimli so much. <laughs> Gimli is one of my favorite Lord of the Rings characters. I guess I'm just, I'm just gonna tighten this down. I need to straighten it later. I will. So, uh, in case you didn't know, if you're mounting, like, an optic, a scope or something, doesn't work for red dots. Um, it was something with an etched reticle in there. If you shine a flashlight through the front, like, you put your gun down on a flat surface, be sure it's flat. Um, then you can shine a bright flashlight through the front, and it'll project the etched reticle on the wall and then you can straighten your scope based off the projection on the wall very handy very handy Emily the fish is an absolute <laughs> absolute goober well matches the name upper root stuff and gets himself stuck in the sponge filter outtake tube <laughs> Good thing Placostomus are built like tanks. 
<laughs> getting, getting stuck in the filter tube? What a bad day to be having. the screws pretend it's not gonna change where the angle of this is at. I guess no this is on this gun since I since I like the scope on this gun. Uh red dot magnifier is going on the Kelte. Not a huge fan of the the vortex red though. This is the crossfire, but oh, I'll, I'll get a different one at some point. It, I mean, it's decent. Like it holds zero and stuff. I just think it's ugly. <laughs> There's nothing functionally wrong with it. I'm just picky. I also have a stigma, and so got that giant red dot in there. Just gets bigger when I look at it. It's not, it's not ideal for me personally. I need to get a either a green dot or like a two moa dot. There's that. Looking very nice. Complete with throw lever. I just need to zero it. As as soon as I find my boar cider again, because I lost it. I'll just take it to the range and just pull it in slow. There we go. There, there is my long range AR. Not quite done yet, but that's where it's at right now. Alright, it'll take time. Get this dollar store optic out of here. Tighten the screws so I don't lose them. Even though it's a cheap optic and mount, I don't want to just throw parts away. Never know, I might buy like a Savage Axis or something. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm never going to buy a Savage Axis. I wouldn't buy a Savage Axis for, Axis for 50 bucks. Oh, okay. Like some metal shaving dust. Probably fell out. Fell out the screw holes of something? I don't know. I don't know where all that stuff came from. I don't know. Fancy screwdrivers. Wrenches, whatever they are. All right. Move this guy up here. <laughs> all my all my Arasaka mount mounts, M lock stuff. Getting in the way up there. Alright. So, red dot eye relief doesn't really matter. I'm gonna mount the 
mount the QD thing first. All right. I guess since I gotta do this off camera, I can't do I really very well on camera. Oh my goodness, I've got to be so close to this thing. Why do I have this? And I got to put that like right on the end. Oh. <laughs> That's where that goes. And this red dot. battery dead? No, just not very bright. It means battery's probably dying. And that magnifier looks so stupid on there. I hope it looks better once I put the red dot on. Get on that. Right? I think a tinny is so convenient. Why do you want dovetail? It's it's so it's so easy. There we go. Sorry, I'm making, I'm making an earthquake. I've got, <laughs> got the jankiest camera mounting. Calling it a setup seems a little generous. I've got the jankiest camera mounting or whatever is going on. Every time I do anything, it causes an earthquake. There we go. Very, very nice. I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan of the look of that, though. I guess it's alright. It's functional. It's functional. I wish it looked better, though. I gotta, I gotta look through it. I'm not zeroing it right now, but I want to know what it looks like. Raphael, one, two, seven, three, three, three. Very close day. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. How is it going? And you're gonna be right up on this magnifier. This has like <laughs> no eye relief. I don't remember why I wasn't using it. Okay. <laughs> GTA. I have never played GTA, actually. What about GTA though? Or just just generally GTA? <laughs> first message just says name of game nothing else no context all right now these other bags oh it's already out I've got. I just, I just went. I just went ham. I went ham on the Arasaka stuff. 
We've got these barricade stops. Which you're supposed to, like, put pointing forwards. So that you can, like, lean against the gun. Um... against a barricade <laughs> um so i'm gonna put these i've got two of them i've never used a barricade stop i just kind of impulse bought them because because <laughs> they look cool they got little meat tenderizers on them they're just supposed to like friction with the barricade so I got them because they look cool um whether or not they're functional I have no idea but basically they just go on the end there like that or like that I don't know if I want to like put them on the side side like 90 degree offset like That? Or even back further. Oh no. Is that long enough? It is long enough. Put it back further like that. Or, or, it can go on this like 45 degree. M lock rail thing and stick off like down, like one on each side. I don't know if you can see that well. There's like off at an angle. I don't, uh, does that look stupid? I feel like that looks stupid. <laughs> they're, <laughs> yeah, they're going on the side. I had the idea to put them like off at an angle like that. Oh, this is a great idea. And. It was not. That was <laughs> that looked so dumb. Why did I think that would be a good idea? All right. I'm not gonna find which tool fits these. What size? What size do you think? Let's say Loctite two 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 recommended. Mm, no. It does not say what size. Well, I'm going to just start grabbing them. What size is this? Oh, that's going to be too small. Oh, it's not even close. The three. Go all the way up to five. Five worked. Oh, well, that's too big. Too big. Is it a four? But luckily, this is close enough to the front that I can just like stick my finger in, hold that little hemlock piece. Oh. Um, because hemlock can be an absolute handsome. Oh my, this is so much easier to do when you can actually reach. The easiest time I've ever had attaching an M-Lock thing. There you go, look at that. That looks pretty good on there. I'm just going to have identical one on the other side. So I can lean on barricades on both sides. Super tactical like. Is that tactical? Is it tactical to be able to lean on both sides? I don't know. <laughs> I just shoot for fun at the range. 
I have never been in a war zone. All right. So, tighten these down nice and tight because I don't have any Loctite on them. There we go. Easy. And these these may or may not be useful, but like Oh no, they're not lined up. Okay. Why is one of them further back? <laughs> they're not symmetrical. Are they not symmetrical? Are they? No, they are. They're symmetrical. I think. They are. Okay, yeah, they are symmetrical. Had a weird angle on it. I promise they might be symmetric. They might be. They're at least really close. Even though... Why does it... Why does it not look like it? Why does it not look like they're close? Here, if I if I hold it like this, does it look? It looks like they're close. Why does it not look like they're close when I hold it sideways? Maybe it does. Maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. I'm a little dumb. There we go. Now we got our we got our meat tenderizers on there. I've got a hand stomp and a vertical grip. I want the hands and the ham stop. And I want the hand stop on. that one or this one but the hand stop and the vertical grip I'm just I'm just going all all in with the Arasaka got that one and I've got this one I don't I like better Which one? Which one do you like better on here? Like the little, little baby hand stop or the, the little baby actual for vertical grip? Which one feels better? With it on there and not tightened at all, which is sure to give only the best results. I was looking through the site, and I was like, why can't I see anything? Because I have the cover on the red dot. Because I'm big stupid, that's... I don't actually... Let's hold it up with this one on. I don't like the vertical grip on this Oh, sorry. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like this 
I don't like the hand stuff on this. Vertical grip goes on the Keltec. <laughs> right. Go in there. I know the M locks are perfect. Perfect fit. My finger on it. No. Slenderman fingers aren't skinny enough. I'm gonna find something to stick in there to hold it still. Ugh. Do the front one first. I can reach that one. Gas block is not in the way of that. There we go. Figure out how to hold this back one. sideways like Like this is not the right way to do. Doesn't matter if it's the right way if it works. Right? That oh perfect. Nailed it. It was <laughs> that was not not janky at all. Good and tight. I can find the screw hole. There it is. Perfect. Oh, that's oh, that's so nice. I like that so much. It's like right, perfectly right there. I've got the charging handle right on my thumb. Non reciprocating, of course. Oh, that's so so good. So good. Free free gun ASMR. <laughs> Very loud ASMR. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that right there. I like it. I like it. The barricade stops. I don't know if I'm completely sold on them yet. I have to actually like see how they work. Like in practice. But I think I like them. I think I like them. Now we gotta put this this little itty bitty guy on here somewhere. <laughs> it's backwards. Whittle. It goes on there somewhere. Where exactly? Not sure. But I'll figure it out next.
All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing. Where's, okay, well, this, get off. I haven't decided I want you there yet. Well, this little hand stop has decided this is where it wants to live. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's just hold this up. See where I like this. what to do with this thing. I'll put it like right there. That feels the best right there. Right across those Picatinny slots. This this one is running into like oh no. Oh no everything's crashing. i put it right between those two. I'll fold this stock up in. Fits up here easier with my monster keyboard. Um, this is gonna end up way further forward than the vertical grip on the Keltec. Oh no, handguard is small. Can't get my fingers in there. This is not used the same size as the everything else they sent me. Oh, I Got this firmly stuck on here. What is that? This one's a star? Why <laughs> why is this one different than the other ones? This is a four. It's too bad these star ones are not the same measuring system. Is a 4 about the same as a 25? It is. Man, I'm so good at this. You, you stop spinning in there. There. Hold still. Basically what I'm doing is just the flat side of that little nut in there. I'm just holding the knife against the flat side to keep just enough pressure on it so it doesn't spin. And then as it gets tighter, you don't need to hold it there anymore. It just has the friction against the metal holding it. Same thing over here. There we go. Easy. Now, the only thing I need after that is slings. I actually need slings for these two. And, you know, lights. I want to get a light for this one. Light for my Keltec. I'm not sure where it's going to mount. <laughs> I've kind of filled the front of this with stuff. Um, I'm sure it's possible to get a light on there. I might have to be a little creative. Probably put it on one of these 45 degree offset ones. There we go, there they are, in all of their glory.
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with these setups. With what I've got right now. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so. And I have my, my longest barrel AR. AR-180, it still has, it still has an AR in it, right? A BRN-180. It's on an AR, kind of, lower. It takes AR parts. AR trigger group. It's basically an AR. I'm yawning. Look at my longest barrel. With the LPVO. Second longest. With the red dot magnifier. I'm why am I yawning so much right now? It's so annoying. Yawning. I can't believe it. So now I just need to zero these, take them to the range, see how they actually perform at the range. I will provide follow up after that. Until then, though, they're just gonna sit around and look awesome. Oh, I didn't. I haven't actually. Excuse me. Just basically just slapped, chat. slapped my microphone. I have actually not. Put. That looks. That definitely looks better. Looks better with the short magazine. That does. That does not look very good with the long red magazine. Good. <laughs> good. Perfect. I like it. Not this. Put, put the short magazine back. The long magazines, definitely better tactically. Short magazines, much better aesthetically. Elias Dean fan. Good, perfect. Hello. Yes, they are. I don't, I don't know which one's good and which one's perfect. But hello. <laughs> I was going to assign one of them good and the other one perfect, but... I think all things considered, they're both good. Guns, yes, guns. I've just finished outfitting these with optics and accessories. Um, I've got the Swamp Fox Tomahawk on the BRN here. And Red Dot Magnifier, Vortex Red Dot Sight Mark Magnifier on this guy there. On the RDB. Looking to red places of these. Because this one's like sticking way behind me. And this one's up there. This one's down here. It's shorter. Now you can see more of it. Look at that. Magical. Yeah, so basically, um, the original plan, I had this magnifier and red dot on the BRN up here, um, which was a problem because this magnifier, it doesn't just flip to the side, it flips down and to the side. And so <laughs> this charging handle would actually run into it, um, which is not ideal. In case you didn't know that, um, the original plan for was to have these switched, but it didn't work out. And so I got the Swamp Fox, the Tomahawk, and a bunch of Arasaka bits in the mail. 
And so I put LPVO on that, red dot magnifier on this one. And it looks all right. I'm not a fan of the vortex red dot and mount look with that, but it's functional. I'm going to replace the red dot at some point. Maybe the red dot and and the magnifier. Not sure. Yeah, so we got we got our LPV on that red dot magnifier. We also got a bunch of Arasaka bits. We got the little hand stop, vertical foregrip, <laughs> and barricade stops. Not sponsored. I just <laughs> I just went ham. Um, the original intention, all I was I went on their website and I was like, I need one of these hand stops. That's all I'm getting. Um. And then I got a bunch of other stuff too. So, so, so here we are. <laughs> but this this vertical grip, very nice on the Celtic. Um, I'm not sure about the barricade stops yet. I kind of impulse bought these to like test them out, see how see how I actually like them. You wish you understood guns. Your boyfriend and brother have been trying hard to teach you, and, and you forget the lessons. Well, the the important part is, uh, tre always treat them as if they're loaded. Don't point them at people. <laughs> you know, as as long as you've got the basic rules of gun safety, then you're fine. You know, always treat them as if they're loaded. Keep your finger off the trigger till you're ready to fire. Don't point at anything you're not willing to destroy. Three three rules. There's a lot of people who add other rules to those, but they they always will fall under those three. I I have not actually shot this one yet. Since I, wow, oh, I, I, I hate not wearing a watch because I always try to look at it and it's not there. <laughs> so I built this one on July fourth. I haven't shot it yet, so I don't know how it shoots. So I just do that, and I need to zero this one and that one. I just put the sights on them. That'll be good. There's a Twitch clip of you and your brother out there. We told him about your first time handling a gun. It scared him. You didn't follow the always loaded rule and don't point it at yourself. Oh no. <laughs> you want to see what was inside of it? Oh, did you look down the barrel? You looked down the barrel, didn't you? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, um, generally, I uh, do not uh, point guns at your own face. Um, just, you know, basic, uh, staying alive tips. <laughs> don't, don't point guns at your own face. Um, the, the only, the only time that you point a gun at your own face is if you are checking the rifling on a gun that it is difficult to disassemble far enough that you're not looking down a whole gun so like if you're like looking at like m1 garands or something like you obviously check that it's empty first you lock the bolt back 
But then the only way to check the rifling without like special tools is to point the gun at your face. That's, that's the only time. The only time is acceptable. But that's obviously only after you have been very sure that the gun is not uh, gonna fire. <laughs> no ammo. No way it could fire. Don't point guns at your face. Don't point guns at your face, kids. Uh, gun safety 101. <laughs> but lessons with X count. Uh, but yes. Basic gun safety. Other than that, like, I don't know if, if you're like holding it slightly wrong. If you're holding it slightly wrong in exactly the wrong way, it can be painful. Like if you're out like shooting shotguns and you don't actually have the stock against your shoulder, um, then you you will know pretty quick that you're doing something wrong. But it's not like life threatening. You know, if <laughs> if you want to, um, you watch your boyfriend clear it. She thought it was fine. Now it's immortalized in a Twitch clip. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so um if if you go to a gun shop, uh a good gun shop, there's there's some janky ones out there. Um I at a good gun shop and if someone is showing you guns, every time they hand you a gun and every time they get it back from you they will check it to see if it's empty. Like, just by muscle memory. Like, ev even if, even if you saw someone else check it to be to be sure the gun's empty, whenever they hand it to you, check again. Um, if, if you handle guns very much, it should just be mus muscle memory. <laughs> but also, if you go, to, go into a gun shop, uh, a not as good one, say like, Academy, Cabela's, <laughs> something that doesn't have as great a reputation, um, then you will see the people working behind the gun counter. They'll be like holding a gun, like, they'll, they'll like have a pistol. Imagine this is a pistol. <laughs> they'll have the pistol, they're holding it, and they'll like have their hand, like rested against the muzzle. So like they they're holding the gun, this this is the gun right here. And they're holding it, and they've just got it like in the palm of their hand, in the barrel. I'm like, oh, don't, why, why don't do that? What are you doing? <laughs> um, that's that's something that I see at gun shops a lot, a lot more than I would like. Uh, and those are people who are supposed to be good at handling firearms. Because it's their job, but you, you know it's chain retail. They don't care. <laughs> hey, gun safety always important. Even if you know the gun's not loaded, don't like point it at people. There's, there's, there's a quite a few videos out there on the internet. Um, you know, nice guns too. Thanks. I, I think they're pretty nice. I like them. We just, we just outfitted them with optics and accessories. Now all I need for these is, I need slings for both of them. I want to get a light, a light for this one. Ooh, ooh. I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? I was probably ranting about something. That's probably what's happening. <laughs> light. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what kind of light I want to get on this. 
Um, it's gonna have to be mounted. Funny, because I've got <laughs> I've got barricade stops on this. So I'm not entirely sure where to put the light. Like I want one on here. I don't know what one, but it would have to, the front of the light would have to be behind these because otherwise you can't rest these on a barricade. I guess I could move these forwards. I could move these forward a little bit. And then have a light just right behind him. Kind of poking out like right there. It needs to be a pretty small light though. I don't know. Uh, there's a there's another streamer who does gun stuff. Gotcha guns. He's got like a little a little itty bitty light on one of his guns. I'll have to ask him what it is. Nice change collection. Thank you. They are from many different countries. Oh, I've got. Ooh, what countries do I have there? I think I've got a couple of like United States like special coins. I've got England, Israel, Mexico, Belize, Aruba, Japan. I need more. <laughs> I've, I've not been to all those places, but I have the coins from there because I don't, but the rest of my family does a lot of traveling, so they just bring me coins and I have them. <laughs> um, the only ones that I got from out of country are the England ones and the Belize ones. I have been to both those places. I want to go to Belize again. Belize is so beautiful. As long as you, like, stay away from, like, the cartels on the Guatemala side. Other than that, I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's, it, it's really pretty. We got all the, like, Native American ruins. I don't remember if they're Mayan or Inca in there. They're, su they're super cool. The, the problem is, uh, whenever I try to save money to travel, um, I end up buying a gun. Ew. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, instead of traveling to different countries, I just buy guns. Um, which would be cheaper if I didn't keep buying guns. It's okay, though. I'm going to go to Japan sometime, though. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I needed water. Next time, the goes to Japan to, <laughs> to buy guns stream. Okay, okay, hold on. So, <laughs> so Japan, um, obviously their gun laws incredibly strict. Um, it is very hard to get a gun in Japan if you're even if you're a Japanese citizen. And Japan has been extremely, extremely limited on gun exports, um, particularly with their modern guns. 
like the how uh, like type 89s and stuff but but uh a month ago a few weeks i don't remember exactly how long ago pretty recently japan opened up they like passed something through their through their government passed a bill opening up exports so hopefully hopefully here in 20 years <laughs> um, we can start having imported cool guns from japan again you did see some world war ii japanese guns at a local gun show cool arasaka bolt action arasaka bolt action you say Arasaka bolt action. Oh my goodness, this thing is so big. Oh my goodness, hold on, let me take off the bayonet. <laughs> Arasaka bolt action. What? Oh yeah, links, links are very, links are very... Uh, so us here. <laughs> you can do what? You can do YouTube links. You can do Twitch links. And Twitter links, I think. Type 99. Yes, this is. This is the Type 99. Um, This one, actually. See if I can show it without hitting stuff on the sides. You can't see it very well. Come on. Focus up here. This one still has the mum intact. Um, but this one still has the mum intact. Uh, this is a Type 99. Yuki Shiki. Um, still has Japanese writing on it. This one was a... Well, I guess still is. Nagoya Arsenal. Um, got the flip up aircraft sight so that you can shoot at airplanes. Um, and it has the matching Arsenal bayonet. Not matching serial number because if you have a matching serial number, that is basically a miracle. But. <laughs> it has, it's matching Arsenal. Still got the Chrysanthemum? It does. Um, I was so happy to find this for the price I got it at. Ammo is, yeah, ammo is pretty pricey. Uh, it is definitely a specialty ammo. 7.7 <laughs> uh, Japanese. 7.7 .7 Arasaka. You'll see it in both designations. Um, the o that was loud. The only thing about this is the stock was refinished, um, which is big oof. But I got this one because him with the bayonet still has the mum intact. Um, I haven't decided. What to do about the stock? I'm kind of leaning towards just like buying a different stock for it. Um, because this stock has basically, whoever had this, just destroyed any historical value it had. So I think I'm just going to buy a stock. Um, you can buy Arasaka stocks um, unrefinished. Um, so obviously, if I did that, it wouldn't match, but since it's refinished, it doesn't match anyway. But it would make it look more authentic. So I think I'm going to do that at some point. When? I don't know. 
but at some point. I also haven't actually bought any ammo for it yet. Um, just lay that across there. I have not seen any in stores, and so it basically doesn't exist. <laughs> you have to buy it online, and I just haven't I haven't looked for it. I'm lazy. Um, have I shot? Next time is the Banzai Char. Ban Banzai Air Chare. Banzai Chare. I don't know. <laughs> have I shot it? I have not actually shot this gun yet. Um, I have it just as a decoration basically right now. <laughs> that is what it is. But I need to buy some ammo. Ammo is like two dollars a round. That's kind of an oof. But I need to get some, I need to shoot it. As wonderful a decoration as it is, I like to be able to shoot my guns. So I do need to get some ammo. But I haven't yet. I also want to get some of the some of the stripper clips with the ammo in, because those are just fun. <laughs> I'll make the Emperor proud. I probably will have a hard time hitting the broadside of a barn. Because oh, I probably can hit the broadside of a barn. Probably couldn't hit the barn door though. But this I measured it. With the bayonet, this rifle is, I think, five feet long, exactly. Get a scope for it. <laughs> How dare you. This gun has already been bubbled enough with the refinished stock. Somewhere to put this. I need to clean. I've got too much stuff. All right, there we go. The irons are pretty cool too. Oh yeah, the the Type ninety nine air aircraft. They've got a they've got a name besides aircraft site. I don't remember what it is though. Um, they're super cool. Will I ever actually need to use them? It would be surprising if, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't expect to be doing any uh, land to air fighting. <laughs> if I'm doing land to air fighting in the 21st century, with, with a World War One bolt action rifle, I have made a mistake. Um, <laughs> but it's cool to have as a historical piece. <laughs> you need to need the Type ninety nine LMG and the Type one hundred to match. Oh, pff, I wish. <laughs> I think you can find parts kits for the Type 99 LMG now and then. Obviously, if you build one of those, it has to be semi-auto. What's... oh, what's the... 99? Is it the Type 99 that has... it is! Oh, I forgot about this. Why are all the pictures of it so small? Because the Japanese put bayonets on everything. Uh, why are why are all the pictures like 
no quality. They can have full auto for 1986. If it, yeah, so if, if you can find an actual transferable one from then, then yes. Um, the problem is that uh, those are going to cost you like six figures. <laughs> um, the parts kits you cannot build into full auto because, well, not allowed, but yeah, the the type 99 LMG <laughs> with, with the sword bayonet on it. Because why not, really? Like, why? I, I just want a bayonet on all my guns. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know why this picture is so small. I need to be careful scrolling through Google scrolling through Google images. Hey, look oh look look at look at this thing. That's just a sword <laughs> on the end of your LMG. Because of course. I need one. I need to ban it on all my guns. Every single one. I need I need an M-lock bayonet attachment to throw on here. With my with my barricade stops. They have the top side mag from the Bren. Yeah. Uh, the Type 99 is basically functionally identical to the Bren. With some... Is it the Bren? Yes, yeah, the Bren. Is the Bren or one of the CZ ones? No, it's not the CZ one. The CZ one I'm thinking of takes magazine and belt, so it's not that one. So yeah, it's, it's the Bren. It's almost functionally identical to the Bren. Cold bayonet. When you ever seen LMG bayonet? The the Japanese are the only ones I know who just put bayonets on everything, which is awesome. Practical? I don't know. But if I was like sitting in the trenches and I saw someone come over the side with an LMG ready to stab me with it, like I'd I I, <laughs> I don't know. There's there's definitely some intimidation factor there. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, nope, nope, nope. I Yeah, there's 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 no way. There's no way you make like good decisions when somebody is charging at you with an LMG with a sword on it. <laughs> like the if somebody, if somebody told me, like, if I wasn't into guns and somebody, like, described a Japanese light machine gun with a sword on the end, like, I would be thinking anime, not something that they actually used. Like, a, a machine gun with a sword? That is something that you see in anime. <laughs> like, that's something that... the protagonist has to fight against or or fights with i guess <laughs> not something you use in real life <laughs> uh, 
like in, in case somebody is too fast and they can dodge your bullets then when they get close you can stab them with your sword on your gun like that's it's, it's anime trope anime trope status the nambu pistol is super cool you heard it had reliability issues they had the anime mindset even back then oh yeah i mean they may not have been the the bright colorful japan we know today but like they all still had the anime fantasy <laughs> it just wasn't colorful yeah the the, the nambu pistol though um if by reliability issues you mean uh, it had a tendency to explode in the user's hand then yes uh it had reliability issues um you don't you don't actually want your pistol to be grenading in your hand that that might be a personal preference but i think other people would tend to agree with me also you can shoot it sideways i mean you can shoot any pistol sideways if you're if you're ghetto enough cutesy japan we know is a distraction from their history oh yeah <laughs> But Japan had some rough history, shall we say? Uh, <laughs> is that is that the right wording for that? Um, it's a little dark. A little dark. If if you thought the Nazi experiments were bad, then well, wait till you hear about Japan. Um. Yeah, they, they, they did some pretty messed up stuff in the past. Um, just just hor horribly evil stuff. Um, now, even though I'm not, I'm not giving excuses for the evil stuff either the Nazis or Japan did back in the day, but... There were some significant scientific advancements made from the severe lack of morals of, of the scientists of the time. Um, so tragedies of the day, but they led to a lot of modern medical procedures. <laughs> Miguel Gabriel. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. How is it going? Why the guns? Why not the guns? Um, yeah, so these, these two guns here specifically today, because I was mounting optics and accessories on them, um, switching out what's on what guns, because I'm, because I'm quirky like that. Um, <laughs> no, I, I got this LPVO. Um, which was going to be originally for this gun and the magnifier red dot was going to be on this one but that didn't work out because the charging handle ran into the magnifier so i had to switch them also put the grips on them i got some barricade stops on this that i was curious about so i'm going to try them out see how see how i like them the ones on screen american question mark I guess both of these guns are American made guns um, I built this one up here this is a Brownells BRN 180 build this one is a Keltec RDB that you can shoot it sideways without pulling the trigger oh that sounds like a, a sig <laughs> man Sega is just stealing Japan's ideas. <laughs> Watch the video. I will laugh. Oh no! Oh no! What is this? So this is it—the <laughs> most dangerous pistol ever made. 
That sounds about right. Wait. There we go. So this is it. The most dangerous pistol ever made. Oh, well, we're so re this reloading. Is the most dangerous pistol ever made. What you're looking at isn't something I cobbled together out of spare bits of metal in my garage, <laughs> but a Japanese Type 94 Nambu pistol. These things, these We've things were so ugly. Type 14 in the past, and uh, and so bad, didn't go so well. So this is just about and the ugliest firearm so I've bad. ever seen, as it looks like it was made by a fellow who had a little too much shochu before heading into work. While the late war Japanese firearms all generally look pretty bad, this one may take the cake. There have been some horrendous service pistols adopted, however, this one stands out. And even the, quote, good examples are horrible. Before oh. we get into it, the Type 94 is chambered in service pistols Hold adopted, on. however, this one stands out. And even the, quote, good <laughs> You can see the machining marks down the top of the slide. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Man, I never noticed that before. Machining go burr. This, this machining, it probably made a lot of noises and probably none of them were burr. These <laughs> are horrible. Before we get into it, the Type 94 is chambered in 8mm Nambu, a bottlenecked cartridge that only delivers about as much energy as 380. That's 9mm <laughs> on the right. 380 is not bad. Mags hold six rounds and are loaded by depressing a not small great. tab on the right side. The pistols are locked by means of a short falling block that is mechanically interesting. Sights are comically bad, but to be honest, there isn't a whole bunch about this gun that isn't. Wow, so those sights talk, are bad. Let's hit the range and see why the Type 94 is so dangerous. So here it is. He's actually yeah, shooting it. Really looking. I mean, it's ugly, but with his bare hand. Are ugly. As long as they worked, though, they were okay. So let's put some ear pro on. Throw a round in. It's not, it's not an A10. I'm gonna fire a, a couple shots burr. just to make sure it works okay. The sky is over. Man, this guy. <laughs> The shells were coming back and hitting him in the face. Oh no, they're not. No, really, it's not a terrible shooting pistol. It's just the first two. The problem is, you don't have to pull the trigger to shoot it. Let me show you why. So the Type 94 has an exposed sear bar, and that's going to be that right there. Now, you heard it release right there, and the problem was that in theory, if you holstered it. That could rub something and go off in your leg. There's all kinds of rumors and stuff that the Japanese would surrender to Americans like this. Um, I don't know if those are substantiated or not. But that seems like a very plausible time, rumor. That you can, in fact, fire it without touching the trigger. And now, of course, that kills the... <laughs> actually, it did, it did reset. Let me see if I can fire it one more time here. And the the Japanese were not known for surrendering peacefully. So yeah, um, in theory, you could I guess compete in IDPA and not ever have to touch the trigger on this pistol. Um, also, not the most handsome pistol I've ever seen. I don't think they would allow that in IDPA. Just a hunch. All right, I'm gonna see if I can accurately shoot this gun without pulling the trigger. Actually, you hit that. I'm impressed. Huh. 
<laughs> IDPA Imperial Japanese. Three out of three, not bad actually. Gonna have a rough time on handgun stages. So something tells uh, me that the Type 94 would not make it through a modern firearm manufacturer's legal department. Other people also basically. I don't think there were any particularly the good. And say that it was meant to be carried without a round in the chamber and with the safety on at all times. The I think there were any particularly good Japanese pistols. The of the sear bar, which is actually kind of funny in and of itself, but realistically, they made over seventy thousand of these, and the fact that something like that could happen. I mean, think if you were holstering your pistol, it's possible that you could bump that sear bar and shoot yourself in the leg. That uh, is not something you want to happen if you're stuck inside of a tank or, well, really at any point ever when you're doing anything. But this is a terrible gun. It's extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I kind of barely know what I'm doing, <laughs> but even then, every time I take this thing out, it's bizarre. And you show people that this was designed this way and it was okayed by an ordinance board. And that's the most shocking part, is that other Japanese firearms are spectacular. They had some real stinkers. This one is, in my opinion, absolutely horrendous. <laughs> that gun is so awful. It's, yeah. Probably not the worst. One of the worst guns adopted by a military. I need, to, I need to go shoot an IDPA again. I went and I took like the IDPA like baby, like beginners competition course, what, whatever they call it. I want to show up with something weird though. <laughs> What are the key looking things by the coins? Oh, these? Um, these are... Oh. These are the Swamp Fox Optics. Um, this LPVO. Uh, scope adjustment tools. So that they look pretty cool. I will give that to them. Um, they've, they've got the little, like, star wrench thing on the ends. And then on the sides here, they've got uh, little little fins that actually fit into little slots on the sides of these um, so that you can adjust your zero. And I don't, know, I don't, it seems like a decent design, except you need to not lose this. Although you could, you could probably get that off with a, a nickel or something. These are just branded and cool looking, so. And they gave me two. I got I got one scope and two tools. So you're the Arasaka company and Cyberpunk name was inspired by the Arasaka Type 99. Um so you can Arasaka Defense. You can buy stuff from Arasaka Defense. Um, so the I have Arasaka parts on these guns. So this this hand stuff right here is Arasaka Defense. This vertical foregrip and these barricade stops right here. Um, so here the Arasaka Defense. Um, they don't actually sell guns, but, you know, you got lights, scopes. Here's, wait, came on, M-Lock. Here's this little hand stop that I've got right here. And they've got, they've got all kinds of stuff here. They've got the vertical grips. Uh... Optics, optics mounts. They got, they got stuff here. Now it's not actual, 
it's not the same Arasaka that was making guns for the Japanese Imperial Army during the World Wars. But... Hold on, where... There was somewhere where they had, like, Japanese text, like, as an Easter egg. I think I saw it in Checkout. Somewhere they've got, like, an Easter egg, Japanese text. It's just, like, numbers. But I thought it was fun. Did it take a while to come in the mail? Ever since COVID by JDM carports and they've been taking forever I think it took like a week so like that's pretty good it's not like Amazon Prime or anything but it was pretty good good for international but I don't think they're actually international. Um, about us. Family ties. Yeah, so it was, it was started by Japanese Americans who named it Arasaka to honor cultural background. So it's not actually international. They are made in the U.S., but it's a, it's a Japanese-run company. Hi, honey. Yeah, they they chose the name Arasaka. It's like shout out to cultural history. Like their logo, I think their logo is pretty cool. It kind of kind of reminds me of like revolver kind of stuff, which I don't think they sell <laughs> any accessories for revolvers, but it is definitely a cool logo. You get to go. We'll post some clips of my server later. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. Help me choose a light. I do need a light. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to read all that right now, though. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. I don't want to read a bunch. All right. But what time is it? I think I think we're gonna move over, play, do a little do a little gaming. So um, I'm gonna need I'm actually gonna need my keyboard in front of me for that. So I'm gonna move this this one off to the side. Keep the BRN up on the gun cam. One more stream. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder if this stream, it'll be okay on YouTube, right? I won't get bonked for putting attachments on guns, right? I'm trying to, trying to figure out if I can. Post this, post this stream on my VODs channel. My archives. I'll try it. If I get, if I get one bonk, then. Well, well, then I'll know. <laughs> then I'll know for next time. Adam. 
there. Reclaim my keyboard. Right, let's center this a little bit in the gun cam. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Showdown time. Yeah, this, that gun looks so much better with that. With this scope on it. Instead of that stupid little red dot. So I, I actually, I'm going to go get, go grab some water real quick uh, before we, before we start gaming. Um, but I will be right back. So I'm going to run an ad just so that we don't have pre-roll ads for a little bit. And yeah, I'll be right back. Go get some water. Massive legendary discounts. And hold on, we gotta we gotta change all our settings every time because it doesn't doesn't remember them. Challenges, new week, new challenges. Throwing knives, throwing axes. Now let's let's do some randoms. I need a stalker beetle. Wait, I can just that. Just pistol, stalker beetle. All right. I think I want fire because fire is OP now. Wild card. There we go. See how this goes.
I forgot to get traits. Oh no. <laughs> well, it's too late now. Whoops. Oh, something, something I realized, um, like a week ago, is I don't have any single rifle cases. Like the, the only long gun, I only have one long gun case. And it's a massive, like, three gun monster of a case. Um, so if, if I just want to take one gun somewhere, I can't. Well, I could. I could just put one gun in the giant case, but <laughs> it's a little annoying. Hey, how's it going? Could be there, could be way up there. Probably may as well check this water here since we're here anyway, but. Woohoo! Iron repeater. Hey, why did I get iron repeater? I don't need that. I'm gonna check this water right here. Nope. Uh, Rot Jaw is not there. If there's tentacles, there's no Rot Jaw. Something I learned. They never spawn in the same water. Because how awful would that be to have to fight both of them at the same time? Shots like southwest. Why? Where's this? Oh, I walked past it. Prison? Where are they going? Are they going for Raja? Seventy-five meters from that bridge. Joe is back there. We're getting closer. Oh, 
what are we doing? There's people north of- Yep, they're there. <laughs> Man, we got cornered. Why did we- why did we just sit there? That was awful. That was awful. I hit that guy north, though. I don't know if that was inside set on fire range, but I hit him. All right, the warm up round, warm up round. Levering. All right, what are our options? Hmm. Oh, Winfield. What do I take with this? I usually take compact, but ammo doesn't stack anymore. Let's just take this. It's I'll get a free one. I'm probably gonna th th throw my special ammo all over the ground. to use this swift to go through my ammo four times as fast because I'm reloading after every second shot Here we go. Hopefully, uh, this next game is better. Um, <laughs> at least I hit that guy north. I hope I set him on fire. Hey, how's it going? Are you going that way? Oh, you can see that? I couldn't even see that till after I started moving. Hey, there's another one.
I wish you got event points for interacting with the Raja clues. It would make sense. But they just don't do it. Ow. Probably in the water by Sweet Bell. Spooky noises. done so well. Just, it's so good. Hunt's got its fair share of problems. But audio design is not one of them. Teammate's got a totem. All right, well, I still need to stop at this supply station, get my get my trait. one of his, but I gotta get it. Was that supposed to be a red ping? That's the heel in the rain, right? Yeah. here. Oh my. Whatever that was did a number on it. West.
Where's teammate? Oh, well, teammate is not with us. Hey, this is where I said it would be. The lake by Sweet Bell. Alright, teammate. Uh, you carry that over there. Still alive. Doesn't quite work like Dark Sight, but I'm glad he's happy with it. His teammate teammate is still alive. Teammate, we're coming. Kind of slowly, but we're on our way. to push this compound from. Just straight up the river. I only see people in compound. At least two in left building and one in the right. Oh no! Ooh. That was... that was bad. in that building.
to get outside. Yeah, give me that regen. Is he down? Ah. He's on my dark side, like Baka. Oh, did he trade? Or is this just a dead guy? Regen faster. Get back here. Where did he go? Raja's already dead. We already have the bounty. Ah, it doesn't show up for me. Weird. Where'd this guy die to? <sighs> I 
That's not a player. Oh, he's burned out. Okay. That's also not a player. Man, I'm just looking at bodies for fun. team that was shooting to our west when we were fighting Raja. Oh well. That zombie set on fire. I didn't hit him. Kills, I think. Got some assists, though. Not bad. kills. None of them were mine. I think I got two assists. Three assists. Let's go. my bolts. What do I take with it? Probably uppercut. As much as I want to be able to use crossbow at range, uppercut is more consistent. We need to use Dragon's Breath, though. There we go. <laughs> 200 damage with Dragon's Breath. 
Puppy Dog Pals full episodes. Hey, they got a drilling. Still keep forgetting that I'm a week behind on this event. Time to use Dragon's Breath in the rain. <laughs> what could go wrong? I'm sure nothing. Hey, how's it going? Yo. I have the Mariner. Which means I... Probably had other traits I could have gotten, but for sure forgot. Oh no. Is this a free hunter? I think it was. I got... At least have Doctor and Sine. Okay. I did not forget traits. Because I got them last time. Nobody likes Arden. I don't have antidote. Beetle tree. Okay. 
A bunch of zombies bothered over there. going off sounds so spooky in the rain especially from multiple directions at the exact same time <coughs> excuse me oh, I'm all special ammo This, this is the outside one. Where did they go? There they are. They're under the water wheel. Where did they go? penetration but they do <laughs> nice is 
more than one. Slug shotgun. Question is, are there more? I didn't even know there were two for a while. Hmm. Do we want to try to find Rot Joe? I kind of want to try to find Raw John, because I'm down big health chunk. Pretty sure I did a number. I'm pretty sure I did a number on that one guy with the fire shotgun, though. Hit him and blew up the yellow barrel he was standing on, or next to. And day for that guy. There are people here? He must be a solo because I have crime on him. Not... Is he AFK? No, he was running.
a ratchet clue. North somewhere, probably mall. Probably like right there or there. shot to everything. We should have gone for Rod John. That might be reservoir. I might have died close enough to inside. Nice. Nice. Yep, we're good. Let's go. Successful bait. Well, now I definitely need Raja. Oh my goodness. Did that for a chaos bomb? I want beetle. Got a regular beetle. Good. Oh, 
invisible, am I? I feel like I'm pretty invisible. How invisible am I? <laughs> the bounty was not in the right spot. It was not in the main lump that I was looking at. I'd every fight, but like, I helps. Hundred bounty. What is is? <laughs> do you just get random bounty numbers? I got seven hundred last time I played. Got that guy. Doing much better today than last time. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not playing solo. I risk Cox. Death cheat. <laughs> Can 
Can I see the... Gunrunner. Removes contraband status from main weapons on extraction. Receive two extra ammo from ammo supplies. The extra ammo could be pretty good. Are these guys both using drilling? Yeah, they are. I still want to run the av too. I want to see how it feels with the new ammo nerf. Oh no. Am I here by myself? <laughs> yeah, okay. There's one. Hey, okay, how's it going? Looks like our third is having a little trouble. That's not good. The servers seem to be struggling. Hunt? Hunt, are you, hunt, are you okay? I am definitely dead to this meathead when I reconnect. Well, that was a fast game.
I'm not dead. Maybe I never got to the other side of the wall. Maybe I never even vaulted. See if it's actually able to reconnect. Seems like it's not. Oh. Come on, come on. See if it'll let me reconnect now. Sometimes it takes two or three times. We're all still alive. So that's good. I feel like I'm gonna load in and we're all gonna be dead. Even though it says we're all alive. waiting game oh I see <laughs> I see other people also restarting their games I wonder if it happened to more than just my game
come on. Any any day now. All right, third. We killed it. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. And this time, this time it's gonna work. Third, third time's a charm. I have run out of things to talk about. Well, nothing's happening. I am... I, <laughs> I'm very jealous of people who can just talk about anything and be entertaining. Like... Was it yesterday? Two days ago? I don't know. One or two days ago. I was watching someone stream. I was watching Sea Dog Connor, uh, stream playing that stupid only up game and talking about tap water like literally talking about tap water and I was just watching that and being entertained incredible impressive how do you be entertaining talking about tap water That's, that's that's the kind of streamer I aspire to be. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so entertaining. I can talk about the most mundane things ever, and have people still watch. That's that's the dream. Oh, loading screen is freezing. It's possible. See if we can load in, please. One of my teammates got downed, so. The server is still out there somewhere and doing something. What it's doing, I don't know. But it's doing something. Apparently it's just killing people slowly. I can just play with the little the little dangly bit on the front of my gun now. The little hand stop. Oh. Hunt, please. <laughs> Let me back in. Why? Why are you like this? Insert meme of the Whatever that meme is of the guy being very dramatic, just shaking the fence. Let me in. Let me in. That meme. You know the meme. You know. You know the one. Do I kill it again? Do I give up? Do I give up on it? Starting 
to feel almost like give up time, unfortunately. Ugh, ugh. Come on, Hunt. Don't do this to me. I'm just, I'm just trying to play a game. This is gonna be one of those games that I am, I'm gonna finally load in, and I'm gonna have like three minutes to extract because everyone already left. Just, just you wait. That's, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be one of those, one of those games. All right, we're gonna give it one one more chance. I've decided one more chance. Um, if it still doesn't, then rest in peace, Hunter. Hopefully, they're saved by death cheat. Everyone's alive again? That must mean both of my teammates are in there because they got revived, right? Let me in! <laughs> Come on. Let me in the game. You can do it. Come on. Come on, you're almost there, I know it. Let me in. Why is it so broken? I'm dead. Said I was alive, but I'm dead. I was lied to. Oh, wait, no, I am alive. I'm coming to save you. Oh, you're very, you're, you're very far away. Well. I am here by myself. I'm playing solos. I don't know what happened to that meat man. I'm down. Down a chunk? I must have been down by the meat man and they revived me. Probably very far away. Either it's right here or it's like on the other side of the map. Not right here, because there's tentacles in this water. At least I got death cheat, so. Losing anything besides health chunks.
Where is this cart? There it is. Give me that. Southeast still. Could be over by Sweet Bell. Otherwise, it's like way over the edge of the map. Is it here? Where am I going? I'm going to Arden. It is here. Where is it here? What? Is it already in the water? Where is it? Okay. What is going on? It is a giant gator. There it is. Come here. Where is it? Oh, I made noise. I also might have stepped in the water.
Come on, surface. Ding. Am I not real to you? Get out. Get out here. something Finally got my health bars back. I need like all my ammo on that though. Where's the special ammo? There's no special ammo in here? What? On Earth. I got one of these at least. Still fighting over there. Eh? I'm gonna chill right here in this bush. 
Honestly, I might just extract. Like, I'm feeling feeling pretty lucky to have gotten this far. Yeah, mm, I'm extracting. I'm I'm taking taking what I got. Taking what I got. Taking the the points, the event points. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, special ammo, let's go. That ammo collection boost coming in clutch. What on earth is going on back there? shooting assassin and they may have been This is the same extract I took last game. I set up fireworks for him. And for my dead comrades. Who just left. Didn't want to wait for me. Even even after having to try and connect for like 15 minutes, we got out with a bounty. Three kills. Let's go, teammates. It removed. No. Oh. I didn't want to use it. Man. I guess it's not like a choice for whether or not you use the trait.
two beetles. I need a... Uh, this one. That one. Oh, wild card. Random. There we go. Do I have knives or throwing axes? I got throwing knives. And throwing axes. Alright, I can do that. Kill hives. Dreg. Don Pepe. Wow. Drilling in a sword. It actually... That might be pretty good. Night. Ew. Speaking of which, my settings are wrong. I had to restart the game. Oh, I can see. Hey, how's it going? I still have death cheat in here somewhere. There it is. They didn't say hi back. zombies here at all? this hive I need it
Well, I am now getting left behind. is quiet compared to regular maps. I've been playing rain. Just dead silent. close. Attacked like three times in a row. Give me in the water. There's two teams here.
can't believe I missed the follow-ups on that. There's one east southeast, like one oh five. Oh, thank you. Oh my, I can't believe I missed those shots and also that they didn't kill me. Two more south. Where'd your other gun go? There they were.
They're on fire. Let's go. I was looking in the wrong spot. I was looking too far away. I rimmed that one. Burned. I think this guy's also burned. Oh, no. Nitro on that guy. This guy also, man, there was a nitro team in here. Why would you do that? You're already solo on ammo. I need to kill a hive with my axe. I need to re-get my trait because it used it up when I didn't want to. That was a pretty good game. I guess the game is still going. I mean, there sure were a lot of people there. What? I need to kill a hive.
Come on, big guy. <laughs> oh, now he's angry. Oh my goodness. There's nobody on site. To reconnect it so fast. Not the lootable one? No, guess not. Why is that so funny now? Brain, you're an idiot. <laughs> what I was thinking about is uh, earlier during that fight with the last guy, run the corner, shot him. We like traded shots, but I set him on fire. I, come I came back around the corner, just he's on fire. Just hoping my teammate would do something with it. And he did. He got him. I could aim during the fight with my shotgun.
Please let there be a hive in here. Just one. Where there are no hives. Oh, it's a pretty good game. If I do say so myself. And I do. Let's go. We fought. We fought every team there. I apparently did not kill anyone. I unlocked a lot of stuff though. Hey, Mosin Sniper. One of my teammates was using a Mosin at some point. Do I have to re-get the extra ammo one every time? Ugh. I didn't even have any contraband to uncontraband. That's annoying. I guess I may as well get fanning. Four assists, no kills. I worked hard for those assists. Set so many people on fire. And I've still got death cheat. And once you start getting a death cheat, like once you get the first one and death cheat, like you can just keep trucking. Rifles. And just with pistols. Do I have anything gun specific? I don't. I can just use a rifle. What was what was the just deal damage with rifle? Easy. Where's the betterly? There we go. I'm gonna stab him.
Oh, now this, now, oh, I want to shoot this gun so bad. Now it's all set up. Yeah, I wanted to shoot it bad before. Mm, I've got, I want to shoot it now. I want to go to the range right now at three in the morning. This should be probably be my last game. <laughs> Why is the range not open at three in the morning? Just for me. So I can go right now, specifically. I just want to The throw lever is so satisfying. I don't- I don't know why. I don't know why it's so satisfying, but it is. Yeah, two night in a row. What was that? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> this is the most disappointing mode to get. Oh no. Ow. Where did my axe go? Goes poison. Poison for Kuzco. Oh, stop it. Stabbed them both. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my rifle damage all done. Where'd my gun go? I actually picked up someone's. Head fanning, how did I stab him? It makes me so happy. Just the little things, you know.
Those guys had no idea I was there. I think Racha's in the river north of Moses. that. Dang it. At least I got the stamina boost from the clue. Oh, they moved the special ammo outside. the hive. Come here. Where are you? people at the boss. And they're killing it without me. Pretty sure I got the uh, <laughs> deal damage with the rifle, even though I have not shot my rifle yet. I just heard a trade. I heard a trade in there. Okay. 
Something killed my beetle. Not entirely sure what it was. Oh my. Is the beetle dying barbed wire? to kill you with. Oh wait, I've got bullets. Forgot about those. Why did it let go of my melee button? What? Oh, melee now? Sure. Sure, that's when you want to melee. Oh, you're so dead. There's so many people still in there. you guys traded. It's only the people at Raja now. Well, that's awkward. I can't believe that, man, I should have traded with that guy, at least. I don't know why it let go of my melee. I was holding down the button, and it was like, oh, <laughs> melee now. So dumb. So dumb. I don't know if that was the game's fault or my keyboard's fault. Two hundred blood bonds. death cheat. Well, I gotta get that again next game. What? Only 260? Come on. Hellhounds, meatheads. Still need to headshot someone with a pistol. And you're down a health bar now.
Mm -hmm. Right. Order master loadout. Gator legs is pretty good right now. Quartermaster loadout. And the best quartermaster loadout. Yeah, pretty average quartermaster loadout, but. It is fun. All right, but, but however, that is going to be it for today because I actually do have to sleep sometimes, much to my own disdain. But we are going to raid out. So let us see who we raid. Let's just play and hunt. Oh, leaflets play and hunt. And leaflet likes guns, which was what we did at the beginning of the stream. Let's let's raid leaflet. Much bigger streamer than I am. She's very cool though, so obviously she's got a bunch of people watching. Um, <laughs> she's playing Hunt. She's super cool. Oh, I actually should hit Raid, shouldn't I? But yeah, that's it for today. So yeah, today was today was a good stream, you know. Put a bunch of accessories and guns. Played a bunch of Hunt. Good day. I will see y'all Friday. Till then, I'm going to bed. So, good night. I'll see y'all later. Uh, sleep well, drink water. I need to figure out when to shoot my gun. Bye.